Hello everybody on VidMe. I thought I'd make another VidMe exclusive video as I have not made one in a while and I passed 50 followers on this website. I'm up past 60 at this point because it's been a while since I decided to make this video. I had a couple of other projects that I wanted to get out of the way first, so I didn't get around to this one right away. One of those projects was the E3 podcast that went up last night, so if you guys bothered to watch that, uh, listen to that rather. I appreciate it if you did and I don't blame you because it's been months since E3. What can I say? Real life kept getting in the way between me and Eric. We could never find the time to sit down and actually listen to it. Anyway, I passed 50 followers on this website. I passed 17,000 views on this website and I wanted to say thank you to everybody that has bothered to sit down and watch my content and listen to my content or anything like that. If you've watched it, if you've liked it, if you've shared it, thank you so very much. I really greatly appreciate it. I've been trying to do this YouTube thing for a long time now. I've been trying to do this video content creation thing for years and I've never really gained much traction doing it. Unfortunately, no matter how hard I try, nothing I ever do seems to uh, strike a chord with anybody. It's rare that a video that I put up gets over 100 views. I have some that have, but it's rare that it does, especially on YouTube. The last two videos I put up got a little bit over 50 and just shy of 100. That's the kind of views that I look at. That's the kind of views that I get. But I keep trying because I do enjoy the video creation process. I do enjoy doing this kind of thing. Oh, by the way, the game we're looking at here is the Turok 2 Seeds of Evil remaster from Night Dive Studio. It's a very, very good remaster for... Uh, you can get on Steam or GOG either. I will put a link in the description below to the GOG version if you want to go pick it up. If you like Turok 2 or if you remember liking it and can't go back to it because the controls nowadays really are kind of frustrating on the Nintendo 64 as far as first person shooters go, then it's well worth your time because it lets you play it with a mouse and keyboard and that alone is a godsend. Not to mention the improved uh, visuals with all the kinds of modern effects added into it to make it prettier. You got a bigger draw distance, you've got better lighting, you've got a clearer, cleaner, and crisper images, and all the that. Um, it really is a, a very, very good remaster. I like it a lot. I've spent a fair bit of time playing it and enjoying the hell out of it. I would highly recommend checking that out if you have not. Um, so if you follow my channel closely, you may have noticed something more recently. A lot of videos have disappeared from my channel, and I wanted to address that. I actually got an email from uh, vid, the VidMe team that said that they put a 50 gig limit on channels, and... By the time I got this email, I had upwards of 120 gig of data uploaded to my VidMe channel. And they're like, yeah, you need to do something about that. So I didn't want to get rid of all of my Let's Plays, or most of them so far. But I really had no choice. I'm, looks like I'm not going to be able to use this for uploading daily Let's Play videos or anything like that. Unfortunately, um, I'm going to have to figure something else out with it. For the time being, I'm just going to stick to uploading uh, the bigger projects that I do. So there will be uh, reviews, which you've seen. I do uh, Headbang Heaven, which is a series of uh, album reviews from heavy metal albums from my collection. I, I review every single video game that I Let's Play. So anytime that I do a video review of a Let's Play game of a game that I let's played I will post it over here as well uh, podcasts I can throw those up here so things like the drive cast that I did I can post that here and I have a second episode and planning on recording a third eventually um, episodes of press the action button podcast which is a podcast that the reason that I started digital delirium originally was to do the press the action button podcast and that was uh, audio only for a long time and we had a site that I uploaded it to and 
I kind of quit uploading to that site a long time ago, and I've only been focusing on uploading them to YouTube. So I just make a video out them out of them and put them on YouTube is what I've been doing. I'll throw those up here. Anything else that I do, like uh, my uh, top ten games of the seventh generation that I did, I will throw those up here as well because those are major video projects. Uh, a let's play video or something like. That. This is easy. I record the gameplay, I turn down the game volume, I s record voiceover, I slap the voiceover into it, and I'm done. And that's really all there is to a video like this. It's very quick, very easy, very simple to do. But something like my uh, video reviews that I do, they take a lot more editing and a whole lot more video layers when I'm actually in the editing process. There's a hell of a lot more to those videos than there is to this one, so... Um, unfortunately, I had to get rid of tons and tons of my videos. If you want to see them, I, they're still up on YouTube. I'll leave a link in the description below to my YouTube channel. You can go watch all of them over there if you want to see them over there. I have also been in the process of uploading them to Daily Motion, and I'm mostly using that for storage because I never get any traffic on Daily Motion, so I might as well just use it as a backup and store all my content there. And if you want to check that out, I will leave a description to my Daily Motion channel in the description below as well. Um, I recently started a Facebook page for Digital Delirium, and I'm not just uploading my video content to it. I upload daily uh, gaming memes, and I upload bits of nostalgia, like if I find some kind of cool advertisement for some old game that I really enjoy, I'll throw that up there, or if some game is celebrating an anniversary like yesterday being... September 9th, because it's September 10th when I'm recording this, it was the anniversary, the uh, 18th anniversary of the Dreamcast, it was the 22nd anniversary of the Sony PlayStation, and the 19th anniversary of the video game Parasite Eve, all of which I absolutely love. Great game. Great system, and the PlayStation 1 is my all-time favorite video game console. Um, just excellent, excellent. And I threw up a little, a few images to kind of say, hey, this is celebrating this birthday. And, yeah, that's cool. So, happy birthday, PlayStation, happy birthday, Dreamcast, on and so forth. Um... I also did today for Spyro the Dragon, so I started to put the link in the page if you want to follow my page for gaming nostalgia and to keep up on any videos that I upload here on Daily Motion or on YouTube, you can follow that because I throw up all the links there as well. It's still a new page, it's still a little low on followers, like it's got 34 or 35 right now. And I'm still trying to grow it. So if you want to go over there and follow that, it would be greatly appreciated. I'm really trying to branch out and grow this brand if I can. And I've been trying to do grow it for years, po posting mostly just on YouTube. And it hasn't worked, really. I've got gathered 175, I think, subscribers on one channel and about 1,000 on the other. The other being a... a channel dedicated solely to heavy metal frustrating like okay the heavy metal channel 1,000 subscribers for a channel where I mostly up, upload obscure heavy metal demos that's not that bad but a gaming channel that I've been uploading at least somewhat regularly to for three or four years now that only has 175 subscribers that there's something like that's disappointing. I, I would hope that I would be able to do better than that. But thus far I haven't been, which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. And I'm going to keep plugging along and doing this because I enjoy doing it, if nothing else. I love video games. I love discussing video games. 
I love playing video games. I love waxing nostalgia about video games. All this kind of stuff. And I love heavy metal, obviously, too. So that's why I do the uh, heavy metal album reviews. I know it really doesn't fit in a channel theme about video games, but it's something else I've been doing on my heavy metal channel. I just decided I'd throw the major videos from both of them up on my Vidme account. So if you guys like that, if you don't, cool. If you don't particularly care for those type of videos, you can skip on watching those. If you do like those videos, they're there for you to watch. It's up to you. It's if I ever regain the ability to upload more than 50 gig to this site, like I get regain the ability to upload as much as I want or anything like that, then I will gladly re-upload all of my Let's Plays to this channel and they will all be placed back here again. So hopefully none of them are gone forever from this channel because I'd really like all of my content here. But for the time being, I'm not going to be able to upload all my content here. It is what it is. It's frustrating. And I mean, when I had that, I was like, oh, shit. I'm going to have to date, delete something like 70 gig of video on this YouTube channel. Or this VidMe channel, rather. And it's frustrating, but i got to do it if I want to be able to keep this. And I do like Vidme as a platform. And there's some uh, creators that I follow over here as well that I don't really follow on YouTube. That I watch them regularly. Anyway, uh, I've been probably rambling for long enough at this, time, at this point. Thank you everybody for watching. Please comment down below. Let me know what you think. Let me know what's going on. Let me know how you are. And thank you for watching all this time. I've been really trying to grow this channel. I really appreciate every single follower I have. More than you know. And I wanted to make a little video to let you guys know that I really appreciate it. We'll talk to you guys next time, okay?